You are saved by the grace of God through faith. You're not saved by joining the church. You're not saved by philanthropic acts, giving to the poor. You're not saved by what you do. You are saved when you accept Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord of your life and the angels write your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. You are saved because Jesus Christ died on the cross, gave his precious blood to wash you whiter than snow. That's what makes you a follower of Jesus Christ. For by grace are you saved through faith that is the gift of God, lest any man should boast. Jesus Christ did not come to the earth because he needed you. He came to the earth because you needed him. Grace is the unmerited favor of God. Grace is an ocean without a shoreline. Grace is an ocean whose depths have never been charted, whose endless healing, forgiving waters will cleanse the stench of sin from your soul. When Satan comes to you and whispers, you're beyond redemption, you're hopeless, God shouts back from the gates of heaven in the pages of this book, rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Your sins have been buried in the deepest sea, never to be remembered against you anymore. As far as the east is from the west, so will the Lord forgive you of your sin and your sin and iniquity. I like this verse in Jeremiah. Your sin and your iniquity, God says, I will remember no more. If God has forgotten it, you forget it. If God has forgiven you, you forgive yourself. You lift your head and square your shoulders. Sing a new song. It's a new day because Christ is in your life. Where sin did abound, grace did much more abound. There's more of God's grace than there is of your iniquity. Have you fallen into sin? Ask God for his amazing grace. Ask him for forgiveness and experience. Forgive yourself. God has. You are free by the power of God's amazing grace. Free from the fear of tomorrow. Free from the guilt of the past.